Kind of scale guys, Nexus here, welcome back to Destiny 2. And in today's video, we're going to be trying out something that's come across as sort of low-key meta. I think back when the Season of Opulence sort of started, even like Black Army and stuff, a lot of people started talking about the uh, the Cyrus regime and how it's actually become really good now. More so, you console users on a PC, obviously hand cannons have no recoil, so a lot of people use them. But on console, hand cannons can be somewhat unusable or horrible for people, so autos are your best bet. And the Cyrus regime seems to be one of those like really good ones. But what we're going to be doing today is just trying it out in a bit of PvP. We're going to see if it actually is a low-key meta because uh, honestly, I'm looking for an auto rifle that will be my low-key meta. I'll quickly go in and just show you what the Cyrus regime is. Most of you know from D1. I have the ornaments and everything on it. I've got like all three of them, I'm pretty sure. Oh, two of them. And yeah, it looks pretty slick though. This Oh, this chrome one. It's from the Black Armory event. Ugh, it's so beautiful. But the Sarah's regime itself, you got the Sarah's legacy for its intrinsic. Bottom half of the magazine deals bonus damage and has a chance to return health on kill. Has spinning up as a trait, so you hold down the trigger, it'll increase the rate of fire, sort of like a Sarah's regime sort of thing. Not Sarah's regime, sort of like a sweet business sort of thing. Why did I say Sarah's regime sort of thing? Sort of like a sweet business sort of thing. And then you've also got the dual speed receiver, which is literally the vanilla Sarah's regime from D1, which is when aiming down sights, rate of fire slows, but the damage increases. And then it also has a hand lay stock for more stability and so. It is a toss up between which one of these you like. I, I'm more of a fan of the extra damage, lower rate of fire. So the Sarah's regime, as I said, it could be low key meadow. So we're free to do, let's go into Crucible and try it out. Okay, so we're gonna be on the deck cliffs with the Sarah's regime. Please be Clash, cause that would be like Clash. the perfect, oh, thank God. Look how sweet it is in our hands though. But yeah, we're going in with this weapon because this could be the new meta. Well, not new meta, but it could contend with meta, which is really all I wanna find. I wanna find one, oh my God, that's a lot of people. I want to find one auto, just just one, one auto that actually contends with meta. I mean, is that too much to ask? Die, stupid shotgun user. Oh, someone help me. I got a shotgun actually. I don't know why I had the zeros out, but we, we can do this. We can do this. Boop, boop. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. Oh, 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 I don't know how I'm alive. Don't ask questions. Just uh, be happy you are. But uh, we haven't even used the Cyrus really properly. You can see though, the rate of fire, obviously it's gotta be slow when I actually fire like down sights and stuff. Cause obviously that's my intrinsic and stuff on it. A lot of people there, but 35-ish to a dome, it really does do output a lot of damage when you have the slow rate of fire down. Of course, uh, Robin kills is always gonna do good damage as well. He was literally a tickle in the booty away from death. But we can obviously get some good damage in if this got, oh my God, mouse. Uh, I think your connection might be uh, broken a bit. Uh, I mean, the potato, did you, is, it, is it running out of energy? Do, is it running out of juice? Do you want to you switch that up a bit? Of course, I'm not going to do good damage at that range because obviously it's miles away. But here is the range, like 36 to a dome. It really isn't bad. It fires pretty quick too. I mean, obviously not as quick as obviously if I had spinning up on. But with the extra damage I'm doing for aim down sights, I think it's worth it because it can just absolutely shred. Like, look at that. Come on, though. Find me some Jimmy Jams to shoot. Look at that. Look at that beautifulness. Love a good auto rifle. And as I said, this is, it's not probably going to be PC meta. But when it comes to the old PS4 console like a debate, I think it'll become meta in there. Because obviously PS4 and stuff, it does show our consoles. Uh, hand cannons do struggle a bit. So when it comes to... Oh my god, okay, we're gonna have to get that guy. When it comes to console, hand cannons struggle. So uh, auto rifles are usually a good choice. Okay, they're all spawning over here. So it's probably a bad idea to kind of rush it. But we have a Sarah's regime and we're not afraid of anything. So we're gonna actually kind of go for it. He got away. Get this guy up here. Oh my god, freaking one-eyed mask. But it don't matter. It don't matter. Guy with a shotgun. <laughs> Ah, oh, buddy, buddy, just sitting there with a shotgun. Didn't know the double team was coming. But you can see, it actually does some really sweet damage. Like, look at that. If everyone wasn't lagging, I don't know if it's me or if it's everyone else. I think it's more as well that it has a bit more consistency to it. Because hand cannons, if you miss a shot, it, obviously hand cannons, if you hit every shot, are great. But if you miss a shot, it can go pretty bad. So what it does give you is that consistency in terms of it's firing so much bullets. that You only have to hit, like, you have to hit a bunch of them. But, like, obviously, if you miss, it's not the biggest deal in the world because the time to kill or the rate of fire is so good. Like, look at this shred machine. We are actually just destroying everyone on their teams. Of course, that guy would go for me. There is literally four or five people all shooting at people, and he goes for me. Just, just, just my ass. Do I have such a tasty booty or something? You have to go for it. Yeah, this is a bit of an annihilation, to be honest. Like, we are absolutely destroying. There's a bunch of people in here, though. Hey, buddy, you know what? I, I feel bad because we are demolishing these, but not so bad. I'm not going to use my super, so. Oh, we actually mercy ruled them as well. This guy up here as well. But, like, the auto actually is really good. It's, I'm really surprised. I didn't think it would be this. Oh, here comes a Fist of Havoc. Oh, we have the perfect weapon for this. 
Oh my god. Have you ever seen something so disgusting in your life? A lagging striker titan? Whew, we were lucky this game ended right there because that would have uh, sent me over the edge. But hey, Cero's regime with the uh, aim that size. We got 17 kills, 5.67. We did uh, Mercy Rule them, so probably have to do a different game. But honestly, Cero's, ew, it does contend pretty damn well. Okay, so this time we're going to be on Wormhaven. We're going into another game because we absolutely spanked the other team. We're going in with Cero's though. Look, I had the other ornament on. That's vanilla D1 ornament. Oh, beautiful one. But yeah, we're going in with Cero's regime again this time we're still using focus fire but when it does get like halfway through the game or something i'll probably switch to the spinning up just to showcase it a bit but the focus fire is more of my uh, favorite position of it and honestly you can see the zero's regime actually can't semi contend with the meta it's a uh, it just does so much damage i'm pretty far right oh my god that guy is still alive someone want to just tickle him oh no 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 he's gone for heavy he's gone for heavy he's gone for heavy <laughs> oh you know what i don't care at least i killed the guy at least i killed the guy with heavy as you see, when you hit those headshots, it actually does start to sort of melt. But the thing is, I'm just really looking for that weapon. Can I actually get this guy? Come on, come on, tilt, tilt, tilt. There we go, we traded. But I'm really just trying to look for an auto rifle that will actually like do well. Because I think all the auto rifles I've really used at the moment, they always sort of lack in the killing department. They always take a bit of a while to kill things. But I think with the whole perk setups that these have, they make them, the Zeros makes it so much better. Like the spinning up obviously is going to be really good for just time to kill. Because obviously increased rate of fire means quicker time to kill. And then obviously the focus fire as well. It just, it adds on some good damage without kind of like wrecking it. Like it does make it obviously longer to shoot, but it doesn't make it any worse if you get me. Like it still does really well. And obviously the health and everything is pretty sweet. And once you get the catalyst going, you probably get a lot of health regens for killing people. You do have to get the final blows though. So sometimes that can be pretty annoying. And that guy, oh my God, he tried, he tried to uh, supernova me. But buddy, your grape doesn't go that far. Of course, there is still certain ranges obviously where this goes in. But like, look at that health regen. If this guy peeks the corner, I got him. I got him. If he actually does peek the corner, he's just not doing it though. There he is. Hey buddy, tilt over there. Thank you for the kill. Oh god, the reload as well is actually pretty sweet. It goes pretty fast. Like, oh, okay, okay we're gonna get him. I have to run. But I don't need to run because I got damage going. Oh my god, he's a shotgun. He's a shotgun and an ace of spades and actually LTTK. But yeah, all I did was just sit there. If I had the spinning up going there, I probably could have got like a bunch more kills. I might actually switch it on because the spinning up actually does help. Oh my god, this guy is lagging like hell. Uh, get him real quick. Oh god, he's so weak. So weak, but this guy's gonna die. <sighs> Buddy, you're challenging the warlock. The warlock thing. But look at that damage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, there's a guy behind me. There's a guy behind me. It's okay, it's just that guy. He's just lagging so much. I can't actually get a firm fix on what the hell is actually going on. But we'll destroy that guy's health. Well, that guy is weak. We need to reload because I actually didn't need to. But this also has uh, high impact reserves as well. So it's not just health regen and stuff. Got high impact reserves too. Now I'll switch on the spinning up. This will mean that I can't go as far in terms of range. But it does increase the rate of fire. So I've actually... Ah, <sighs> yeah. Low spawning into a shotgun. But yeah, it means that if I actually do come up against one or two targets and stuff, I can actually kind of shoot them. What is this voodoo? I swear to God, if I just randomly die, I will not be happy. But like, look at that shred. It does absolutely... Turns it into a different beast. Oh my god, we need to run. Um, I actually have my Nova Warp, which I'm going to use because they're all around here. Uh, did I, even, I didn't even hit that guy. Here, buddy, come back here. Don't even try running. There's a couple of guys up here. Uh, hey, guys. Boop, 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 boop. And you saw all my kills, guys. I do not appreciate that. But with the spinning up, you can see it goes going. And oh, it's just so good. Let's see if there's any other unsuspecting people coming around here. We'll spin it up a bit. Look at the... Oh, I, I was running out of bullets. I never knew I had to reload. I never knew I had to reload. Oh, no. How did I not get the melee priority? <laughs> okay, there's two people going to be here. So we can actually go for this. Oh, oh my God. There's the triple. No, we didn't get the triple. But oh, close the wolf. He's so weak. So, so weak. I missed too many shots. Oh, you gotta love a little supernova, though. Double kill. <laughs> people complain about shoulder charge. I mean, I can get, like, triple kills with this thing. It's so good. But, yeah, we need to get more kills to spinning up. We can actually shred this thing down. Please, can we shred it down? Can you finish him off? There we go. Get rid of the wall. Thank you. Oh, look at that. Just absolutely demolish a wall in instant seconds. There's a guy there with a shotgun. I don't know how you managed to kill him, but you did. What the... Where, where is this guy? What the hell is... What is going? Where is he? Where is he? Oh my god, this voodoo nonsense. I had no idea. But like, look, there's multiple people around here. This guy's HP. Just look at that shred. He just loses HP and that is... Oh, oh, oh. 
He comes out with a freaking shotgun. My god, these guys and their frick special blades, one eyed masks, their uh, Nova Orbs, or not Nova Orbs, their shotguns. Man, it, do, it does take a toll on your, it takes a toll on your psychological health, I'm telling you right now. But yeah, are we going to be set on saying that this is probably got like low-key meta and stuff? I think it actually is pretty sweet. You can see that like the HP like melt there. It's pretty good when there's more than one person you have melting point on. I still would say for myself, I would rather the uh, focus fire. Like I like, the ex I like the extra RPM and everything. But in terms of just overall range, it obviously increases. If I have the other thing on and there's more than one person, but they focus me instead of a guy who is literally beside them. There's a guy here though, melt his face off. Okay, oh, melt, 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 melt. Oh, he's so weak over there. Can someone just get, oh, he actually rifted up. Ridiculous, there we go though. Finally got him. There's a guy running around with a shotgun up here. I can't go at him, but oh, you got a nice job, Zomsky. And we actually have a super back. I think with the catalyst as well. I don't have this with the catalyst, and I can already tell you right now that it's actually pretty damn sweet. It was with the catalyst, the amount of HP gens, regens I'd be getting right now would be pretty damn strong. And look at that dome. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, we actually got him. That's Thank god. Spray and pray, boys. Spray and pray. We can actually get the number warp going. And um, there's a guy around here. Oh my god. Of course he would be freaking Mars. He was not that far away on my screen. Can this not go through walls? Can there we go. There we go. <laughs> Finally. I was going to say I should have killed him ages ago. That's One a guy who's just going to sit there and wait for me. What the? Oh, I'm in the spawn, I think. Oh, oh no. It didn't charge it up. Oh. oh, come on. Melt, melt, melt. There's two of them here. There's two of them here. Oh, my God. There's so much people. So much people. Uh, is there anyone else in my team are, like spawning in here? What the hell? Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, oh, oh. His HP. He just needed a tickle in the booty hole and he would have died. Uh, that is the game though. Uh, we actually did win it. And you can see the Suros is pretty damn sweet. Now, as I said, spinning up, I think it's okay. I think you get more out of the focus fire though because spinning up, obviously it's good for double teaming, but the amount of damage, it increases the range of the overall weapon. I'm like a high-ish high RPM. 32 kills altogether though, 2.0 efficiency. As I said though, I would rather the uh, focus fire, but spinning up ain't bad either. Well, that's it from me and the Suros regime. Honestly, we were looking for a low-key meta sort of auto rifle. This this actually is a really good auto. Honestly, I think it can contend with the meta. With the whole prick setup and stuff, I would say dual, or dual speed receiver. It was focus fire back in D1. Dual speed receiver, though, is the one where you aim down. It increases the damage but slower rate of fire. That does really help. It makes it go so much further. You get more bang for your buck for using it. And it just means you can take those longer engages whenever you need to. They do This uh, spinning up, it is good. But when they do get too far away from you, obviously you do get the fall off of damage. You also don't do as much damage as the focus fire. But when there's more than one target and you're up close, spinning up is legit really good. But as I said, focus fire or this dual speed receiver, this is more bang for your buck. This is more of a general neutral average sort of thing. If you're on Pacifica, yeah, go for the spinning up. But if you're on like the longer range maps, the dual speed receiver does really good. And as I said, this actually contends with meta. I'm, a, I'm on PC, so I'm against the PC meta. I know console meta is a bit different, but PC meta is usually hand cannons and everything. And then if you go onto console, the hand cannons aren't that great. I mean, they're, they're good, obviously, in terms of if you can use them, they're really good. But they're sort of like the bloom is a real killer for people on console. So as I said, the Cyrus regime is definitely something probably low-key meta for console use. This thing could probably go in for using the, on the PS4 or Xbox or whatever you play it on. But regardless, if you like the video, just like and if you want to see more content, subscribe. Have a fantastic day. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.